Obviously disappointing. Well, hugely, you know, you go four defeats in the trot, you know, and it's only a few weeks ago we were talking about trying to catch Breakin. Now we're trying to avoid dropping into a playoff situation, you know. Uh, and it's hard, really hard, you know. You, you like that and it's sometimes inexplicable. You know, we had a, a big strong side in the park today who just didn't, you know, didn't look sharp at any period through it. Certainly no creative, we're just not creating anything just now and that's a, that's a big worry for us, you know. Uh, but I've told the players in there, they've just got to keep their heads up, I'll do the worrying for them. All I can do is um, try and make sure that I can get through to them and, and impose my will on them because I've been relegated to St Murden many years ago and I know how hard it is to take, you know, and the last thing I want is that team to, uh, to have to suffer that particular fate, you know. So it's up to them now. Uh, it really depends how they view that. And the words I've spoken to them in the changing room just now, which most of them all remain between us, you know, but it's up to them how they turn out. If they've got anything about them and any character about them, then I'm sure they'll pick themselves up and we'll start picking up results. Just as Peter Head did, I don't know how they got on the day, but it's certainly one, two, one. one, two, one. So that's four wins in the trot after we beat them a few weeks ago and I thought that they looked doomed and to be fair to them, they've picked themselves up and turned it around and that's what we have to do, you know, it's as simple as that. Uh, you know, players have got to take a bit of responsibility in the park and, and, and go and do the jobs that we're asking them to do. And I think the, the goal goes in and it looks to me an unopposed header. Uh, we seem to st stop, but uh, there's a kind of free kick situation going on there. We don't know if it was or wasn't, but they certainly didn't stop, you know. And the result was a, a free header at the net, so really, really disappointing from our point of view. Um, thought it was going to be a tough game coming here, but we felt we had enough about us to take something for the match. But uh, not to take anything is, uh, is, is a huge blow to us, so you know, we've just got to pick ourselves up. As I say, I'll do the worrying for the players. They have to remain focused and remain positive, and hopefully they can turn them turn around for themselves uh, over the next few weeks. You just don't have that cutting edge. That's exactly what it is. You know, we had no cutting edge about us at all. You know, we liked a wee bit of creativity today. Made some changes to the team. Um, <laughs> you know, we went with a with a defensive midfield player today. We don't normally play that way, uh, and it did it did blunt us a little bit in the creative side. Having said that, we haven't even scored a lot of goals over the last few weeks. So, you know, it's, it's that situation managers don't want. They don't want to be searching for a formula that's going to give them success. You know. Uh, you know, the system we played, we've employed on many other occasions and it's worked for us today, it wasn't to be, you know. I just felt like Cowdenbeath were just that bit sharper at the ball around the park today. Um, you know, and that was the thing, but you're right about the creative edge, it just uh, it just wasn't the other day, you know. But I just couldn't see our strikers getting a, an opportunity apart from the one that DL has, which is a fantastic opportunity at the end, which he, he blazes past the post, you know, which he, you hope when he's a bit more confident he would have bashed that in the net and got us a point. But, that wasn't it to be. That's uh, that's the way it is at Stenius Muir. You always make things di you know difficult for yourself. It's the same last year going through the playoffs. We made it hard for ourselves, and it looks as if we're going the same way this year. You know. Thanks very much. Points at the end of the day. Hard working performance. I thought it was great. I, I thought the start to finish it was a great performance. I thought went throughout. Uh, enjoy through, it. Throughout the night, we controlled most of the game. You know anything that they did have. Um, after we were at our own doing, they, they certainly had, you know, the players under pressure and, and little spells with their long throws, etc. But I felt um, the, the errors they get them getting there in the first place could have been dealt with better. But over over, over the piece, of, I felt we dominated, dominated and controlled the, the game. Um, don't get me wrong, there was no lot of free flowing chances, you know, we get one at the start of the second half, you know, and you know, as you expect, the, the, John John Sider, I think for the lights there and the flinging the flinging the, the bodies in between, and absolutely wonderful. That's what you look for. And I know that he, he was looking for for big cards for them, and I thought he got that defensively for his side today. You know, but from our point of view, we we kept saying to them, you know, we keep doing the right things, get our wee bit end product in the wider areas a wee bit better. Cause problems and, and, I, and I thought the goal, I thought the goal was very fitting in the way that we, we tried to go about our business. It was a lovely cross for John. Ah, oh, it was excellent. But even the even the, the, the even the build up prior to it, you know, was everything I thought. I mean, he's saying over a string of the second half, three, four, maybe five. Green John Robertson from the right hand side. You know, I mean, we're, for somebody we're, 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 we're asking them to go in there and do a job. And what you might like, what you might like for. For we Robo defensively, we said we were going to get a lot going forward for him. And I thought, I thought, I thought the other day it was an outlet for us. Both full backs were outlets, and, and they took big parts in the game. This is now the business end of the season, Danny. Does it matter how you play? Is it just all the results? 
No, no, we, we would get a strain on the philosophy here that we like to play. Don't get me wrong. I think as the, as the game was going on, you can just put up to you, the supporters, they get a little bit impatient. But I certainly believe that if you keep doing the right things, when I mean, you watch your top sides, they don't just fling the ball in for the sake of it. They wait until the time's right, you know, they don't wait until they're on their weaker foot and, and just hope that they're going to put a, a ball in there or, or somebody's going to. They wait for the win the moment, right? And, and, and I feel. I feel we, we, we've got a, a bit of quality like that in the wider areas. You know, and that was the reason prior to going with the two big lads up top the day because we knew Stenhouse Muir would be in front of them, the three big lads at the back. You know, that, that's their game. They'll mop up everything. You know, and I thought of quality in our strikers day and defeat was very good. But we knew that where they were so comfortable was when the ball was in wide areas, when they were they're turned and losing sight of the play and the, and the ball, you know, so. And uh, 